when I was in my teens, I visited the Averbury Stone Circles and Stonehenge and other prehistoric monuments that were a tremendous inspiration to me. The idea of, that you could create or try to create these monolithic sculptural forms. I studied at Central St Martin's School of Art in London, which is a stone's throw from the British Museum. And I used to visit there repeatedly to see the ancient Egyptian, Greek and Roman sculptures that were a great inspiration. And my teacher was Shelley Fawcett, who was one of Henry Moore's main assistants. And he really impressed on me the sense that sculpture is a great tradition going back generations all the way back to prehistoric times. And the idea that a sculpture should be a real potent physical presence. A lot of contemporary sculpture is either formal, abstract or decorative. But I had this sense that I wanted to imbue contemporary sculpture with an edge, a sort of meaning or a kind of philosophical stance about our place in the universe. And I did that with a series called Visitors and Aliens. On the one hand, these are images of fantasy of an extraterrestrial that's crash-landed to Earth. But really the deeper meaning is the idea of the outsider, the human outsider from a different country or a different society trying to belong in a different place. And in that sense, these are iconic images of the outsider, of integration and of diversity. The idea for the alien has been developed in many drawings, paintings and small sculptures in different materials such as plaster, clay and in different scales. And I've also played with the whole figure, the partially submerged figure. Sometimes you see just the legs or just the feet or just even the tips of the feet. The idea that this crash landed figure is either partly or largely embedded in the earth and of course sculpture is very much about our relationship with the earth. The 12 foot version of Alien that's being exhibited at the top of New Bond Street as an intrusion into one of the most luxurious areas in the world and I like that idea that's kind of transgressive in that way to make people think to make you think about what it means to be an outsider or from a different background. At the same time, there's a working model of Alien that's in the gallery of Ian R. Sizer. This is the working model scaled uh, version of Alien. It's about uh, four foot tall. It's made in bronze. It's being exhibited concurrently at the Ian R. Sizer gallery as part of the Mayfair Art Weekend. Uh, so this complements the larger scale work um, and differs, it, differs from it in some ways but is basically another expression of the alien theme but here placed within a gallery or domestic setting. <laughs> 